Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, well, you know what time it is. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to become a Child of Box member. You can join by paying $4.99 a month. And you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, I am here with Gigi. And so I didn't realize how long I've had Gigi. I've had Gigi for some while. That's so ashy. Um, but I am going to get her. I was thinking about changing her out into this little outfit. It came from Miss Patricia from Patricia Reborn Babies. And... The only thing is this says zero to three month, but it looks fairly big, but the bottoms don't look as big. So I don't know if this, this is going to be too big for her or not. So I'm going to get her changed and I'm going to give her a bottle or maybe I should give her the bottle first. Maybe I'll give her the bottle first. Let's see. So I finally got this girl rooted. As you guys probably have followed me on Instagram or my my Facebook page, uh, which is Miss Serenity Smith. Um, guys, on my profile page on Facebook, I am not adding any more people on that page because I'm wanting people to follow me primarily on my other page. I do still post on my, my uh, profile page, but... Um, I prefer, um, my main place where I post, like, my dolls for sale or stuff like that is, is on my, uh, actual page page. So, all you have to do is go on there and click follow. Versus, you know, me having to keep going and accepting, you know, people. Like, do you want this bottle or not? So, yeah. So, um, all right. After we get her this bottle, we'll uh, go ahead. But yeah, a um, couple people asked me where I got the curly hair from with her and just so everybody know, I'm not trying to be funny or not give information, which is my prerogative if I wanted to or not anyway. Um, but, honestly, I don't be knowing what hair I'm using a lot of times because I've started rooting so many babies and then I have the hair like out the packs. And But I know that she, I know for, for a fact, most of her hair is quirky chromis or something like that. But she doesn't sell hair anymore. She doesn't sell the mohair anymore. So most of her hair is that. And then um, she might have... Actually, all her hair is, is that, but different different ones. Um, and she has different blends of brown in her hair. So she has, a really, she has light brown hair. Um, a lighter brown hair and darker brown hair. And so... It's kind of mixed up and it come across very dark on camera. And then in the top, um, I didn't root the top like super, super thick. Because her hair actually lays down in a very baby baby style. And um, so, <laughs> but it's funny because on camera it almost looked like, look, like she got a bald spot up there. But her hair is really, it's, it's not, it's not bald. There's plenty of hair up there. Um, and also, um, I left it so you could kind of see. I mean, I rooted it thin, fine enough, just enough so you could see, like, her scalp. Because, I don't know. That's what I, I do sometimes. Hold on, shoot. Okay, shoot. So, so if you see her, I'll try to see if I can get closer so you guys can see. 
but when I photograph it, you could you could see. Um, oh well, well. So I don't know. Like I don't know if you guys can see. So you can't. I don't know. You can't really see on camera the hairs because, like I said, her hair is also, is a lighter brown. So in person. But anyway, y'all know I ain't got no baby with no balls, but well, y'all know I will have a bald baby now. <clears throat> but anyway, um, let me see if I can, if she can fit this outfit. So Gigi is a good, she's a good size baby, actually. Um. She is, I think she's my, my biggest baby. She's around the, close to the size of Phoebe, but she's actually bigger. She's a little, she's actually a little bit bigger than Phoebe. Um. So she's a could say I'm a little chopster. She is she is one of those babies and, and this is kinda like how my, my daughter was. She gave you the vibes of, you know, just a really full filled out, healthy baby, but not not overweight. My uh my firstborn daughter. And I guess sometimes, you know, subconsciously, I do stuff and not realize it because my daughter also was um, a fairly light skin complexion baby. And she also had uh, different shades of brown hair. Um, so it's kind of kind of funny that I do I do that sometime without even noticing see I think this is gonna be like way big on her cuz it's, it's wide but we gonna see we gonna try it anyway we gonna try it anyway oh my gosh you're a mess but yeah, usually by the time I finally put some hair in a baby, they usually be up for sale. Um, I usually be ready to sell them, and because I've I've gotten over them. Because what happened is after a time, I'll enjoy them ball for a minute, and then I get frustrated with trying to find them stuff to wear. Look, oh look, look like she gonna fit this little onesie. Um. But then I get frustrated with what they, you know, trying to find outfits that they look cute with hats with it and stuff. And then I end up just putting them to the side and not dealing with them for a while. And then I just end up losing interest in them. And so by the time I finish rooting them, I'm like, for a couple of days, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. I love them with the hair. And then shortly after that, it's like, okay, this baby is completed. I could sell this one it'll be an easier sale because it's already rooted and I end up and then I end up selling them um Gigi is probably going to be a forever baby I don't think I'll I'll sell her I don't know why but for whatever reason I just seem to be more attached to her so And she's like one of the babies I, you know, some babies I just like to pose and just look at like, I'll, like I put Taraji in new PJs and I did her hair 
um and it's really cute but i probably won't change her for another six months or so um joy has had on the same outfit since thanksgiving of last year um like in november or october um I don't change them as often. Um, I also have little babies that I do the same thing with. So it's not, first I was like, well, maybe it's because they're big. But no, I realized actually some of my other babies, I do the same thing with them. I just don't change them. And I, I'm crazy about them. I just don't change them. But... With her, I really enjoy dressing her. <laughs> Look at her. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, these pants are so cute. Uh. I'm gonna turn them around. And I could flip the bottom up, I think. I think I'll flip the bottom. You can do like a little flip if I want to. There we go. <laughs> I really, I like this, these pants on her. <laughs> I'll take pictures later, you guys know I will. It's some type of, is this like, I can't tell if this is like thread. Yeah, some type of fabric stuck in her sock. It's been bothering me. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, off later. But yeah. So she was able actually to fit that. So this is Jimboree and that's zero to three month. And so she was able to fit that, which is nice. I I thought the onesie was gonna be way too big, but nope. She's also a cute pacifier baby too. That's another thing. Um now Gigi, her head turns, but as you see, it kind of have give. It doesn't turn as much, but I was, when I first got the sculpt, I was worried about, was it going to be floppy, but her head do still flop. But because she doesn't have that much of a long neck, it doesn't allow her to do too much turning as much or flopping. But if I lay her on her tummy, I can still, it'll turn enough to where she's not suffocating. <laughs> like she's not going into the, her face is not going into the pillow or face down. So she does, it does turn. It's just not like, going like like a little quartz screw um so the whole neck thing is a conversation i hear people saying they don't like babies when they have like a really long neck and then some people don't like the babies when they don't have a short neck so that's all a personal preference but when you see babies in like photos and stuff or when you actual real babies you barely can see their little necks because their little head is always like leaning over forward so it's very realistic the way she is um she, it's just if you want more movement is where it changes but anyway i'm always trying to explain something that doesn't nobody asked me to explain but anyway we will go i'm glad you guys could join us to get her dressed and I will talk to you guys later. Um, I got to go and finish up. I got another baby to finish up. So um, I got some cool stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, I'm not going to say, I, I'm not going to tell you guys every little project that I'm working on. I'm just going to surprise you guys with a couple things. Okay. Yeah, I know y'all like surprises. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.